nobody better show up as the crow. Every costume party, there's like 14 guys come dress like the crow because they want to look hot and hook up. It's lame. We just got the first photos for the upcoming remake of the movie The Crow starring Bill Skarsgård and already it's getting a lot of pushback on social media. Some people are pointing to this as yet another example of Hollywood fresh out of ideas so they're just dusting off a cult film that they already own the rights to in order to try to turn a quick buck. Other people say that this is going to be another example to try to modernize an iconic character in order to try to push some type of messaging. I haven't seen a ton on that so far but still there are people saying this right now. Uh, but either way, this probably doesn't look too good, but let's dive into this article. It's kind of going into a little bit more details. The images which first landed on Vanity Fair see Skarsgård step into the role of goth rocker Eric Draven, sporting heavy black eye makeup, an eclectic mix of tattoos, and a much shorter hairdo than the original movie's late star Brandon Lee. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I think this looks ridiculous. Uh, I'm getting less of an Eric Draven, the crow from this and more of the, you know, Florida Joker or something like that. Uh, this is just, I, I don't know. I mean, you can tell that they're trying to modernize it and that the director even said as much. He's trying to have more of a contemporary look to the character, but I personally don't like what they're actually going with this. Uh, I don't even have necessarily anything against Bill Skarsgård playing the character. I just don't like the design of the character. And that's assuming that I'm okay with them actually making a remake of this, which I personally don't feel like it's necessary. You can watch the original movie. There's nothing about it. I mean, well, it, it's a little bit dated because it's definitely seeped in the 90s. But at the same time, it's still more of a timeless movie where it doesn't feel like it's an old movie. It still works even when you watch it nowadays. So I don't really understand why they're remaking it other than it just being a quick cash grab. Sanders also took inspiration from modern day artists to give Draven an updated appearance, revealing that he blended his own look from the 90s with stylistic influences from the likes of Post Malone and Lil Peep. He goes on to say that he wants to conjure a relatable character, one that he hopes people who are 19 today look at him and go, that guy is us. I would hope that there's less people in the world who are like this, but you, you know, that's just me. But. If I'm going to be fair completely with this, I really don't have a problem with the idea of remakes. Now, hear me out for a second, because I think there are a lot of good remakes out there. But the way to remake a movie, I think, is kind of like what they're doing here in that you don't necessarily just try to do the exact copy of that, because if that's the case, then why watch the original? So I can appreciate that they're trying to make a new variation to an iconic movie and like kind of make it their own. I just feel like it's completely necessary and I don't like the approach that they're going down, but a lot of other people, when you look at Twitter when, or X uh, that are talking about this because vanity fair released the first images and a lot of people just are not happy with what they're doing with this. Cause just kind of scrolling down here, looking at some of the comments left, uh, how effing original Hollywood is remaking the crow with Bill Skarsgård because apparently we can't just let a cult classic stay dead and buried like it's a protagonist, like it's protagonist. And another thing I want to point out too is there's been several other crow movies. Obviously no one cares about those. I mean, you can look at like rate uh, review scores for those. They're just bottom of the barrel. I think they're mostly just like straight to TV movies or something like that. So nothing really big. Uh, the first and the original one is the one that everyone remembers, but this is the first Crow movie. That's a direct uh, remake of that because the other ones were kind of like spinoff sequels, if you will. They do realize Brandon Lee is irreplaceable, right? Yeah. And that's why a lot of those other ones didn't work. He not only had the talent, but my God, he had the looks. Uh, they went from perfection to mediocre. Not cool. Now, I'm going to push back on that because, like I said, I think Bill Skarsgård could play the character. I just don't like what they're doing, and I don't like the idea that they're doing this remake because I don't believe it's really necessary. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'll am i be surprised. Uh, this is the LGBT crow, lol. <laughs> yeah, this image right here. Uh, terrible haircut. I agree. I like the, the original hair better instead of the, the short one because, like they said, they're trying to do a more contemporary look. No, but th this is just iconic to the character. Uh, some people have said it point there sticks more closely to the comic book. Yeah, maybe that's so, but 
still, I mean, people aren't necessarily remembering the crow for the comic. They're remembering it for the movie. So maybe if they're trying to base it more off of the comic, they could do that. But then you're trying to draw too many similarities to the original movie too. And I don't know. It just seems like they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. When it comes to this, there are some movies that never should be touched. Uh, remade. The crow was one of them. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Well, yeah, I'm going to say there's some movies that should never be remade. Uh, is this one of them? Uh, possibly, because like I said, it's unnecessary. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> How do you make a crow reboot and not a horror and a character with long hair? <laughs> yeah, the hair is part of the character. Oh, this person says they're excited, so yeah, good on them. I mean, I hope you enjoy it. The wish version of the crow. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, we, uh, Mommy, I want cr the crow. We have the crow at home, and it's like the crow at home. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, just out of curiosity, I was just kind of like looking what they're spending on this movie because I don't expect much of it. Uh, the, this is the only thing I can find. This was from the Hollywood Reporter back in April 2022 when they were announcing that this movie was going to be made with Bill Skarsgård and uh, Rupert Sanders as the director. So a couple of years ago, things could have changed since then, but movies take a long time to be in production. So it, this isn't necessarily an unusual. And it does say the budget is going to be around. Uh, $50 million range. So that seems like, uh, I mean, it, it might seem like it's a lot, but relatively speaking, when compared to movies, I, I think that's a fine budget for what they're trying to do. I would argue they could probably go lower than that, but you know, I, I think this is a movie. If it was around the $50 million range and I don't know, I mean, maybe it can make its money back. I'll have to wait and see till there's a trailer that comes out before I can really make a better guess on that. But Right now, I'm looking. It's looking like this is something that no one's going to care about because one of the things about the original movie, The Crow, because it is an iconic movie and it does have a cult following. But you got to understand, cult following doesn't necessarily mean mass appeal. There's a lot of people who haven't actually watched the original movie, and while it is popular and really loved in certain segments of the audience, I don't think it necessarily will have the mainstream appeal that the studio is kind of hoping for, even though it has some name recognition amongst certain segments of the audience. So. I'm not really expecting much of this movie. I think it is just going to be another one of those remakes. that's just kind of dead on arrival, but I could be wrong. I, like I said, I need to wait and see until I more information comes out about it, but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Are you actually interested in seeing this movie or is this just going to be another pass for you? And also if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button because it really helps out the channel and make sure you also like and share the video too. Thank you.